Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Celebrating Act Two. Art and I are here to wax poetic about stuff, stuff. right? It's our weekly blog. We can talk about anything we want to talk about. And I guess I want to talk about summertime. Mm -hmm. Where I am, we're getting what they call June gloom. Wait, we're, wait, we're... wait. Yes, yesterday, yesterday, where I am, which is not that far from you, we actually had sunshine. Well, uh, yeah, we had, we had 80, de 80 degrees and sunshine. So uh, we're some of the full bloom here as of yesterday. Well, <laughs> I need more sunshine. I've been waiting for the sunshine, okay. actually. And uh, I've thought about this time of uh, the year. Yeah. We're we're past the May gray and the June gloom. And yeah, let's June. talk about let's talk about sunshine because that's something near and dear to my heart, as you know. Uh, oh, I'm I'm approaching yeah. within sixty days. Yeah. Okay. Two year, five years from, uh, and then I don't get to see this doctor anymore uh, on an annual basis. Uh, the removal of a melanoma from my scalp. Oh, that's uh, right. Okay. And um, uh, five years is like there hasn't been a trace of anything since, thankfully. Yeah. Uh, that's but good. five years is a, uh, a, a, and all the nodes, lymph nodes, and everything else were clear, so they caught it really early. But uh, so my, uh, I'm on my soapbox now of anybody who doesn't see a dermatologist regularly. Yep. Okay. Is flirt, flirting with danger because the yes. earlier they can detect minor stuff, and we've all been exposed to a lot of sun. And yep. yeah, maybe there are three or four or eight or 18 people that will never have a problem. Great. Good peace of mind. Go to a dermatologist. I go actually three times a year. And I get checked for everything. In fact, uh, 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 the end of this week, um, uh, I think I had, I forgot what side it was on already. They took a little sample of something, and it was something called the basal cell, something. It's yep. precancerous. Uh, what they do is they'll go in and they'll take a little bit more off and they'll send it to a, a lo little local lab and make yep. sure they've got everything. And I've had that done a whole bunch of times without any uh, uh, serious issues of sure. any kind. And so if you haven't been to a dermatologist, and John, I know you go, uh, I'm urging everybody to get I out, go, particularly I go now. once a year for a general kind of look at your skin thing. Mm -hmm. I've got, I don't know if you can see my little Band-Aid here. I'm going to, mm -hmm. next month I go to see my dermatologist. I'm going to ask him about that thing. Mm -hmm. um, and the important thing is, you know, if it, sun damage is cumulative, so particularly if you've had a lot of sun damage as a young kid. Yeah, sunburns. We all thought it was kind of, kind of cool. You put on, uh, what, uh, Johnson baby oil or something, and, and yeah. uh, you toughed it out and you had the great tan. Okay. Right. Uh, you're screwed. Go well, to the not necessarily. But the point is, <laughs> when you get to be 50 or 60, mm -hmm. you've got 50 or 60 years of sun damage building up. Right. And that's why I think, particularly at our age and our mm -hmm. audience, our people in our act two, I think it's important that they really not ignore um, the dermatologist. They make it a regular, even if you don't think you have any problems, you just go check it out once a year, like right. everything else. Be, be a good idea. Um, and I'll see, I'll report back when I get this thing checked out. Uh, by, by the way, let, let's, let's also talk about another thing, which is one of the primary reasons why Celebrating Act Two exists. Unlike our parents and grandparents, we're living longer lives and yeah. healthier lives. But also, yep. because we're living longer, we're beginning to get stuff that our parents and grandparents, as a rule, never got because they didn't live long enough. They died That's before true. they had these issues. So yeah. the, one of the benefits of living longer is that uh, we get to enjoy more of life. One of the uh, downsides is that stuff that would just go to sleep and never show it's uh, the light of day, if you will, uh, happens to us. But on the other side, early detection means that we can take care of them. So yeah. live longer, healthier lives, recognize that you're probably going to be exposed to things that your parents or grandparents, and you may have those diseases, but you can take care of it if you uh, just see a, a doctor and these specialists sure. on a regular basis. And, and catch things early. And they they can do so much more now. Yeah. So you you just got to, the older you get, 
the more you got to be in charge of your regular health care. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll see you next week to talk about something else really important. And happy and fun. <laughs> like skin cancer. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Yummy. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.